Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basmet. Dear viewers, let us start the program with the main affairs of the week. With the arrival of winter vegetables in the market, the prices have started declining. Shuttle bus and a launch have come into operation at Trivuvan International Airport. According to the Agriculture Association, fertilizer could not be imported on time due to policy level and political instability. Plus more. Let us continue the program with the price of the vegetables. It is a good news that the price of the vegetables have gone down to some extent. For almost two years, the Nepali vegetables have not been well distributed due to corona. Now the market is buzzing with life and the prices are somewhat reasonable. Nepali vegetables are considered organic by the consumers and are highly in demand. The consumers always prefer the local vegetables for taste and health. With the arrival of winter vegetables in the market, the prices have started declining. Let us look at this news report for a little while. With the arrival of winter vegetables in the market, the prices have started declining. The Kalimati Fruits and Vegetable Market Development Committee has stated that the prices have been declining due to the onset of winter vegetables. The prices of some fresh vegetables that have arrived in the market have started falling. The retail price of bitter gourd has dropped from 110 rupees to 90 rupees per kilogram. Similarly, prices of vegetables such as string beans, beans, peas, cabbages, local cauliflower, squash, rye greens, and other vegetables have been declining at the rate of 5 rupees to 20 rupees. Vegetables enter the Karmadu Valley mainly from Terai districts including Thading, Nuakot, Gabri, Chiton, and Makwanpur. Traders say that some winter vegetables have started entering the market from these places. However, green vegetables have not been able to enter the market as per the demand due to the unseasonal rains. In the first week of October, vegetables could not reach the market on time. After the news report, let us now talk about support for the farmers. This year has been a very depressing year here in Nepal. The flood washed away the transplanted paddy and vegetables. During the harvest time, the unseasonal rain inundated the crops. The Chinese seeds did not produce grain. This caused a lot of loss for the farmers and the country. The government is going to support the farmers with some compensation. God is with us. We have to pray for recovery once the pandemic is over. We're in this model together. We have to come out of it together. Farmers who have suffered losses in paddy due to unseasonal rains are set to get relief. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Farmers who have suffered losses in paddy due to unseasonal rains are set to get relief. Minister for Agriculture and Livestock Development Mahindra Rai Yadav informed that the Ministry of Finance has already sent money to the districts through the Ministry of Home Affairs after the procedure for the distribution of relief was ready. Stating that the relief would be distributed to the farmers through the District Disaster Management Committee, he said that the relief would be distributed after the affected farmers were selected as per the procedure. Stating that the Ministry of Agriculture has been paying special attention to ensure that the real affected farmers get relief, Minister Yadav said that the sooner the name of the farmer is chosen, the sooner the relief will be distributed. The local level has informed a committee to collect the cost. The committee is collecting the names and other details of the affected farmers and sending them to the Disaster Management Committee under the District Administration Office. The Disaster Management Committee investigates whether the list and details of the farmers received through the local level are correct and finalizes the list and sends it to the Treasury and Accounts Control Office. Govinda Prasad Sharma informed that only the details of the initial damage have been received by the Ministry of Agriculture. Every farmer receiving relief should have an account in his own name. The relief distribution and monitoring work will be under the Ministry of Home Affairs.
The government has decided to provide relief of 5.52 Arba rupees to the farmers. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, farmers with farms up to 10 katas will get relief at the rate of 1,921 rupees per kata. Farmers with 40 kata farms will get relief at the rate of 887 rupees per kata. Similarly, big farms with more than two bigas will get relief at the rate of 591 rupees per kata and all farmers with partial loss will get relief at the rate of 591 rupees per kata according to the ministry of agriculture after the news report let us now talk about disease in the banana cigato is a virus which infects the banana according to our technicians at krishi television the farmers have to be very careful while handling the fruits and vegetables the tools should be clean while using in the fields Disease cause a lot of loss every year in all the crops. This means the farmers have to consult the scientists who know how to treat the fields with proper medication. This also requires training for farmers from the Nepali government side. It is good investment in the part of the country treasury for the prevention of the crop loss. Banana growers in Nawalparasi are worried after Sigato's disease started affecting them. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Banana growers in Nawalparasi, Bardagat, Susta West are worried after Sigato's disease started affecting them. Outbreaks of Sigato disease have been reported in farm cultivating bananas in Pratapur and Susta villages known as pocket areas of bananas in the southern part of the district. Farmers here have been further affected after Sigato's disease started destroying bananas at a time when there is growing concern that bananas produced by them are not being sold due to cheap bananas imported from India. According to the Banana Growers Association, more than 200 bigas of bananas have been damaged due to the disease. A joint team of Agriculture Knowledge Center, Prime Minister's Agriculture Modernization Project, Agriculture Development Directorate, NARC, and a Banana Growers Association has been involved in the management of the disease. After the news report, let us now talk about successful nursery. Floral business is very good all over the world. In Nepal, it is not any different. The flowers are used every day by the Nepali Hindus during worship. Flowers are the main ingredients in the Hindu puja. The flowers are used in every kind of holiday to decorate the home and the temple. This is why the floral business is so well developed in the country. The nurseries in the cities made huge sums of profit, yet the Indian flowers are imported by Nepal to meet the demand in the market. This means we still have a gap to fill in Nepali market with Nepali flowers. Usha Kharga has been engaged in flower business in Maharaj Ganj to Salpar number no. 4 of Kathmandu for 35 years. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Usha Kharga has been engaged in flower business in Marajgan Tushal, Ward No. 4 of Kathmandu for 35 years. Today, her passion for flowers has established her as a successful florist. Usha Kharga, who turned her hobby into a business, is now busy in flower trade. Once she was busy decorating her home and yard, now through the nursery she is helping others to decorate the yard with beautiful flowering plants. She has been running a flower business for 35 years by registering Vishal Nursery Firm on her own land in Maharaj Ganj, Tushal, Ward No. 4 of Kathmandu. Having started flower business with low investment, she has already invested millions in this 35-year period. She has also managed to brighten the future of her children by selling plants. Usha says that she started flower business because of her husband's desire. Since her father also planted a nursery in her 
mother's house, she was able to carry on her husband's interest in the business as she had some information about the nursery. She says that her brother is also involved in the work taught by her father. Usha has not only benefited herself from the nursery but has also worked to light the stove of others. She had provided employment to two people in the nursery. She works in the nursery herself. When a customer comes to the nursery to get seedlings, she also gives information about what she knows. Nepal is a country full of possibilities. The self-employment rate can be increased along with the economic growth of the country if the time and labor spent by the youths abroad is utilized in Nepal and the government also provides grants, concessional loans and loans to encourage the youth. After the news report, it is time to take a small commercial break. Stay with Kushi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about tourism in Nepal. The tour to Nepal is experience of organic agriculture, greatest mountains in the world, and first-hand culture. Many farmhouses are now open to foreign tourists. In Nepal, we get the real connection to nature. The Nepali outdoor is raw, wild, and natural. The Nepali government is improving the services for the foreign tourists who come to Nepal. This means easier to get visas, easy to travel, and a lot of good times for people seeking adventure in the greatest mountains. Shuttle bus and a launch have come into operation at Trivon International Airport. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Shuttle bus and a launch have come into operation at Trivon International Airport. On Wednesday, Minister for Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation Prem Bahadur Ali inaugurated a shuttle bus at the domestic terminal station and a launch at the International Terminal Building. Every day from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., three shuttle buses will provide free service to the passengers from the internal terminal to the Golden Gate of the airport, said Minister Ali. He said that restroom has been set up at the airport for Nepali workers and workers who have been cheated who are from the village. Minister Ali expressed his commitment to work for the betterment of the airport as long as he is in charge of the ministry. Domestic water, Golden Gate, Jose, Bianca, Sobody, the Girati, Arab, some of the Super Seba Sansa, and Gorda, and the other. You only have the Uzan, Bokari, some of the Raikas. Yes, sir. We win the Kanka Sudan, Uluk Kamaru, Mazati, Jati Maina, Jati Honda, Jati Minet, Yumatra, and Maronsu, Jontago Seba, Ulagi, Porti Botta Bara, my Ibusu. Various facilities have been provided in the restroom for the workers going for foreign employment. Similarly, the hotline number of the Ministry of Tourism and the airport has been kept in the cell to complain in case of any problem inside the airport. After the news report, let us now talk about problems in fertilizer in Nepal. Nepal is still doing primitive agriculture. This means oxen for plowing and dung for fertilizer. This produces healthy food. However, the demand for the food is increasing each second as new mouth to feed is born. This is quite frustrating. We can use the machines to plow the land, which is healthy, but chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides are not healthy. The country imports chemical fertilizer for commercial agriculture. Yet the imported fertilizer is not enough and the government has approved the production of chemical fertilizer in Nepal. This is quite a difficult situation which the whole world is facing. 
According to the Agriculture Association, fertilizer could not be imported on time due to policy level and political instability. Let us look at this news report for a little while. According to the Agriculture Association, fertilizer could not be imported on time due to the policy level and political instability. It stressed on the need to organize procurement process and distribution system. Meanwhile, the government said that it has not been able to provide timely fertilizer to the farmers as the production of chemical fertilizer is declining in the world market. Minister for Agriculture and Livestock Development Mahindra Rai Yadav said that the government is committed to fulfill the resolution to make the country self-reliant through agriculture production. Minister Yadav also claimed that the government has to increase the production of the agriculture sector so as to contribute to the prosperity of the country. Speaking on the program, Interaction on Chemical Fertilizer Crisis and Solutions, Minister Yadav urged all parties concerned to cooperate in the campaign to make the country prosperous by increasing the production in the agricultural sector. Minister Yadav said that the government has made necessary arrangements for soil testing in all the states to increase the production in agriculture, adding that the government would increase the production of organic fertilizer to increase the agricultural production. <laughs> Minister Yadav said that the agriculture sector was the basis of the country's prosperity and claimed that the government had to take forward various programs to attract the youth for its development. He acknowledged that the necessary arrangements for a new vision in Nepal have not yet been made. He said that the only option was to build a fertilizer factory in Nepal to provide timely chemical fertilizer to the farmers. Secretary at the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, Govinda Prasad Sharma, said that the price of chemical fertilizer would increase further in the world market. He said that the production of chemical fertilizer in the world market is declining not only in Russia and many European countries, but also in the United States. Due to the same effect, the farmers could not get regular fertilizer. Similarly, Joint Secretary at the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, Rajendra Mishra, said that the procurement process and distribution system could not be facilitated. Stating that the manual was being distributed on the basis of recommendations from 8,500 agriculture cooperatives. He said that the manure could not be imported on time due to instability at the policy level and political level. After the news report, let us now talk about shortage of food in Homla. Nepali mountains are covered with snow now. The cold there is very bitter. The mountains are not favorable for most food crops. This is why the mountain people have to import food. The road network is not well developed. The air service is very dangerous due to the mountains, yet the brave hearts live there. The Nepali government should be practical and open foreign migration for these people. The places where there is more comfortable land like Australia and Canada should be the option. Nepali flat land is already oversaturated with ever-growing population. With the mountain people migrating in the south, the agriculture land would decrease. This means that the food production will decline and the food security would be not possible. 250 quintals of food has been delivered to Limi located in Namka Gaumapalika, 6 of Homla, which is in dire need of food. Let us look at this news report for a little while. 250 quintals of food has been delivered to Limi, located in Namka Gaumapalika, 6 of Humla, which is in dire need of food. Two food items were delivered to Limi by a Nepal Army helicopter. Ward Chairperson Pal Jortamang had arrived in Kathmandu demanding to send food grains as there was acute shortage of food in Limi area. According to the Humla District Office, the 250 quintals of food sent to the Limi area will last for about four months. Snowfall in the Limi area has caused problems in ventilation. 1,000 quintals of rice was approved to be shipped to Nimka this year. After the news report, let us now talk about sugarcane price. 
Every year, the sugarcane farmers have to come to the streets to receive payment for their sugarcane. This is causing the Nepali sugarcane farmers to opt for something else to cultivate. Due to the unavailability of the sugarcane, the sugar factories are closing down. This means that the sugar import in the country will increase. This is another loss for Nepal. If the sugarcane farmers are paid on time, this kind of situation would not come up. I mean, the farmers die out in the cold protesting the government functions. The government has not fixed the price of the sugarcane even after the second week of Makshir. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The government has not fixed the price of sugarcane even after the second week of Makshir. The delay in fixing the price of sugarcane has raised confusion about the operation of sugar mills and farmers are worried that the sugarcane will dry up in the field. It is time to cut the sugarcane planted by the farmers. Sugarcane is more likely to dry out as the drought progresses. According to the Federation of Sugarcane Producers of Nepal, the sugarcane cultivation is declining. The government is setting prices slowly and the sugar mills are closing down soon due to the slow operation. A team from the Department of Agriculture has returned to Sharlai to study the production cost of sugarcane according to the Federation. The government had sent a team to understand the production cost in 22 districts of Terai where sugarcane is cultivated. The report will be submitted on the basis of the data collected from the farmers. The price of sugarcane is determined on that basis. There are Indushankar Sugar Industry Hariwan in Hariwan of Sharlai District, Mahalakshmi Sugar Industry in Bagdaha, and Annapurna Sugar Industry in Dhankul. The Annapurna Sugar Industry of Dhankul, which was closed last year, is being prepared for operation this year. Farmers have been complaining that the price of sugarcane has not been fixed accordingly despite the increase in the cost of fertilizer last year. Last year, the government had fixed the price of sugarcane at 536.56 rupees per quintal. The industrialist had to pay 471.28 rupees and the government had paid 65.28 rupees as grant. After the news report, let us now talk about differently able. There's Olympics for differently abled. The world has come a long way from separating the differently abled persons from the normal life to inclusiveness. If given the opportunity, the differently abled persons can do a lot of successful work. It is unfortunate that a lot of the people who are so-called normal are ignorant of these special people and do not treat them well. It is God who created these lovely people and God sees the mistreatment and compassion with which we treat these people. We will all be awarded accordingly. The 30th International Day of Persons who are differently able was celebrated on Friday with various programs. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The 30th International Day of Persons Who Are Differently Able was celebrated on Friday with various programs. The day was celebrated with the national slogan, Our Priority is the Rights of Persons Who Are Differently Able. On the occasion of the day, the National Differently Able Fund organized a special program in Kathmandu and distributed prosthetic arms, legs, crutches, white sticks, wheelchairs, and other items to the persons who are differently able. The day has been celebrated since 1992 when the United Nations adopted the World Action Plan on Differently Able on December 3, 1982. This day is celebrated with the objective of discussing the problems faced by the persons who are differently able, finding solutions to the challenges, spreading differently able awareness, and ensuring the rights of persons who are differently able. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the week. With the arrival of winter vegetables in the market, the prices have started declining. Shuttle bus and a launch have come into operation at Trivavan International Airport. According to the Agriculture Association, fertilizer could not be imported on time due to policy level and political instability.
Thank you for watching Agriculture Fierce in Nepal with Minermala Basnet. I'll be back with more fierce next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Krishan, Samrita Krishi, Nepal Krishan.